Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine. In this video, I'm going to show an extended example of creating hidden hooks and working with the show in the hide macro and combining those with previous macros we have seen within Harlan. So let's start at start. I have something fairly complex going on here. At the beginning, we are setting up a story-wide variable keys to be equal to zero. And then I have the use of a hidden hook, notice the parentheses instead of the greater than sign, and set up a hook right here. Inside this hook is something a little strange. So we have float box. Remember, a box is just a division of a passage. We can use box to divide up something visually and float box to divide up something in terms of the page, so where we want it to be on the page. And in this case, X marks the spot and Y marks the spot. So this will be in the middle. And then I'm using display right here to display something called inventory, which we'll look at just a moment. And the display macro allows us to include the contents of one macro and another. And then I have something called controls. And this is link rerun open inventory. So that will be a link that shows us. And when this is clicked, uh, click that is, it will hide controls. So this is currently controls and then show window. So window starts hidden and this is a hook or this is a, a hidden hook right here. So this will start hidden and then controls we will see. And then when we click open inventory, it will hide controls and then show window. Show window contains a float box, which is displaying inventory. So let's go look at inventory. Inventory just shows a current value of keys. And when close is clicked, it hides window and shows controls. So the flip of what we just saw. Let me show you what this looks like in practice. So if I build the story from here, it says open inventory, which is true. Remember the hidden hook is currently hidden. We can't see it. So I'm gonna click open inventory and it's gonna pop out this right here. And notice the controls disappeared and the window was shown because float box is positioned in the middle thirds right here. You currently have zero keys. And if I click close, the float box disappears and open inventory shows back up. So what I've created is kind of a simple window, right? I've created the ability to show something in the middle of the screen, potentially an inventory in a longer game, and then any time open inventory is clicked to show the window and then hide the controls, and then in inventory go the other way. Click close, hide the window, show the controls. And this is really where show, hide, and hidden macros can come into play. If you want to display extra information, potentially data that's in another passage or additional information to a reader or player, Creating hidden mac or hidden hooks, that is, and then using these show and hide macros can be extremely useful for this particular context. All we need to do is create an initial hidden hook, then use show and hide to hide those things as needed. Additionally, float box can be really helpful when used in this way. We can create where we want it to appear, in this case, the middle. Notice the X is in the middle, Y is in the middle of two of the use of the two equal signs. Display macro showing the content of one passage and another, and us creating effectively a modal, or what's sometimes simply a window, showing information to a user without anything else shown at the same time. Now, potentially we could make this much more complex, but this shows us the real power of working with hide and show. We can allow a user or reader to expand or open up potentially other windows or other passage or other content that's not currently showed, then close that again without potentially extending vertically or horizontal the current amount of text within a passage. Open inventory is much easier to visually manage instead of a whole lot of inventory information. I click it, I see what I want, and I close. The same as way, the same way we might open and close windows. Again, not too complex from what we've seen, but combining a bunch of different macros together, particularly creating hidden hooks that we've seen now across multiple videos, right here using parentheses instead of greater than or less than signs, and then using the hide or show macros corresponding to the name of those hooks to affect them. We can hide hooks, show hooks, create hidden hooks. Also combining that with way previous videos of looking at float box and using the display macro to include the contents of one passage and another. Complex combination of a bunch of different macros and a bunch of different concepts all in one example. So as we think about ways in which we combine the knowledge of 
hidden hooks, or show hooks, hide or show macros and hide macros as part of hidden hooks, we now have the ability to create much more complex projects using patterns that we have seen across multiple videos and relying on our knowledge of how all these concepts work together and especially change your macros. Showing and hiding is another visual change, changing visibility of it, is it hidden or shown, as well as combining that with other things we have seen, particularly those dealing with float box or potentially any other ways to get data or input from readers or players. So, a seemingly simple example, but relying on many different concepts used in connection to each other. It just has two passages, but we can show a simple window, open up, show inventory, or other things we might want to show, and then have the user close that window by applying show and hide, first in one order, and then in another order, and combining that with named hooks and hidden hooks within Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.